back with one of our favorite actresses, not to mention a primo hot chocolate maker. True. And she's, you know what, just an all around great gal. We love her so much and she is here to tell us all about her latest Hallmark Channel movie, Winter in Vail, which we have been talking about yes. all day. You have a big connection to Vail as well, my friend, like love we just it. said. It's premiering this Saturday night, the <laughs> one and only Lacey Chabert. Welcome back, Lacey. Lacey. I mean, this movie is just magical. Oh, thanks. It, it was so much fun to film. It felt magical being in this winter wonderland. And speaking of the winter wonderland, this was a first for your little daughter, Julia. She got to come yes. to set with you. And it was the first time she experienced anything like this, right? Yes, it was the first time she'd ever been in such a cold place. <laughs> it was the first time she'd ever seen snow. You know, now that she's a little bit older. Wow. And what did she That's think? a great shot. We, thank you, we had the best time. She loved it, she loved it. She got to wear her snow gear and her jacket and her hat. And we played in the snow and we attempted to build a snowman, but unfortunately we did this <laughs> on a day where the snow wasn't sticking. So oh. it's a little, Snow mound. That's <laughs> right. Snow head. He still looks happy. Right. Yes. Yes. We, we still. He was like, just buried. Uh, uh, yeah. He and was the just, snow was so was deep. Just, it yeah. Was just his head it was just his out. head popping out because it was so cold. Oh my, but I love that because you know it could go either way because as soon as the little kids get cold, yeah. then they're turned off by the snow. Right. Yes. So yes. You had her bundled up. It's like probably yeah. perfect timing. It didn't take that long to make the snowman. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, and that's it. And you know what? Now for the rest of our lives, so little effort I'm going to have to put into making snowman. Like there you go. That's you a set the bar very low. Well done. And <laughs> and still. So much fun for her, I'm sure. Yes. Now let's talk about oh, the movie a little bit. Chelsea is your character. Yes. Tell us what, what brings her to town and also how that experience kind of changes her life. Well, she finds out early on in the movie that her uncle, who's recently passed, left her his chalet in Vail. And she's really surprised and doesn't know if it's the right thing to uproot her life and go, but she's at a bit of a crossroads and decides to make this bold decision. And while she's there, she uh, is shown around town by Owen, played by the lovely Tyler Hines. I was happy we got to work together. And uh, she really falls in love with the town and does her best to attempt to save old Vail. Look at yes, that. that's right, and that's a good point because those that have been there, there it really is yeah. like a real old history to that. I mean, it's to hard that little not village. to fall in love with. I know. Vail. I mean, just the most incredible place. So it's beautiful. A, it's magical. It, it really is magical. Is. I every, at, at every turn, I was like, oh, this looks like we're in a Hallmark movie. I tell I was you, like, I want to live here. I'm like, no wonder I make so many of these movies. I just want to live in. I've been home. saying that for years, <laughs> and here there is. It's 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 uh, become a reality right now. We're gonna yeah. clip, and you'll see what we're talking about right here. Yeah. This is a clip where Chelsea and Owen are getting to know each other a little bit better, and they're on skis as well. Another thing. Near and dear to my heart. Let's take a look. His dream. Left, right. Oh my gosh. Left, right. It's like being in the army. Look around. We're on a lake. Wow. <laughs> okay, do your but I mean, don't you do anything the normal way? Sounds like a terrible way. I thought you get a kick out of it. <laughs> Where is this restaurant? All right, you see those trees up there? Let's just past them. Okay, I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love She's it. in the lead. Go, 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 She's go. <laughs> you tired yet? This is a workout. Oh. Well, now I can officially say I skied on a lake. There you go. You've done it. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Just dramatic walking. Woohoo! Okay. Not gonna let you win though. <laughs> No, when I said race, I just—it was just a friendly race. <laughs> that is a great workout. Oh, it was. I was exhausted. Yeah, <laughs> but really doing it. Cross-country skiing is is probably. I think it burns more calories than any outdoor I workout. I believe. Believe, and they're like, "Can you do this?" I'm like, "Sure." I mean, it's just—it's not downhill. Of course, I can. The first take, action! I fell down. <laughs> Second take, and action! It's I fell down. It's tricky with the heel coming and up. And we were on a real lake. And you were actually terrified. I was that. honestly terrified wow. because in the movie that never goes well, right. the, wow. frozen, the frozen, the frozen lake. lake. And it had just begun to freeze, but they drilled into it to make sure it was deep enough and make sure it was safe, but I was having a mild panic attack on the inside. A bit. I mean, that's, we were just talking about, you think, like, before you have children, you do everything, and you don't True. think about it twice. The minute you have a child, even walking down the street, you say, this is dangerous. Yes, yeah. this is dangerous, I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, I should not be doing this. <laughs> and you went tubing as well. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. The tubing, though, okay, I don't even know if the footage actually does it justice, but we were going up to like 40 miles an hour. It was so high. It was the, the track.
track was so long and I mean I was trying to there's a camera watching us go all the way down and I was trying to like look cool like I'm having fun and the whole time I am just like this blood curling scream. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean that's There's that's so many dangerous. great other activities to do in Vail uh, in the winter time other right. than just skiing so I'm glad you got the cross country skiing, you got some tubing. We did, we did a little there's ice skating. Ice skating. Exactly. Honestly I would go back and do it all it's the again. Best. It was so much fun. It, it probably was a little bit chilly like you alluded to but the one thing that was very warm was your greeting in Vail because that your arrival there timed nicely with a certain movie being released. Tell everybody. It was the week after Christmas in Rome had just aired. And it was so nice to run into people and you know, everyone was like, we just watched the movie. And it was just so awesome to feel that support and love and just such a festive time. And Amazing. you know, to all of you out there that watch, I appreciate it so much and so honored to get to continue to entertain you. I mean, it's true. I mean, That's they sure. in Vail, like we said, they live in a Hallmark movie. So when they turn on the Hallmark movies, they're just watching themselves. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And now, in reality. literally. Yeah. <laughs> no, but one, another thing that a lot of your fans always stop you for and will continue for years to come was the classic movie, Mean Girls. And they always, they quote, <laughs> A certain quote, a certain line to you, and I know that you sort of had a little bit of carryover from Mean Girls that tied into this film as well. An interesting connection. <laughs> People always stop to say, you know, your father, the inventor of toaster strudel, <laughs> and uh, so funny. right. And it's one of my favorite lines from the movie, honestly. But a big part of this movie, and in Chelsea's efforts to save the town, she decides to have Strudel Fest and bring back her uncle's famous Strudel, the big comeback. Was that a, so, a tip of the hat to the movie, to Mean Girls? No, so we're shooting the movie, and about three days into it, it didn't even occur to me. Someone comes up and goes, you know, I can't believe it took us three days to realize this, but if we're going to make Strudel on Hallmark Channel, who's going to do that except for you? <laughs> like, that hello? is Toaster wild Strudel. that it was a coincidence. Uh, just, I, but uh, we, what a magical coincidence. A magic yeah, movie is magic. Laughed, well, laughed. you made some magical hot chocolate earlier. Any, any <laughs> Strudel-making yeah. tips there that you, you could pass Yes. Yes. You okay, do have so some strudel making I did, tips? I learned a lot about making strudel because I had never attempted that before. I love to bake, but never strudel. Huh. You have to knead the dough with your knuckles. You don't use your fingers. Huh. And you kind of like, you know, uh, spread it across because you okay. want it to be as thin as possible. And you literally, mm. once you have it incredibly paper thin, you we actually like put the menu from the restaurant underneath the strudel to test it to see if we could still read the menu. That's, That's the how test. Thin it has That's to be. how thin you yeah. want it? You have so to be able to put the stuff in and then it, po it puffs up. Yes. That's oh, a good tip. My mouth delicious. is watering. That's a good tip, yeah. It's well, well. That's what we're making. Maybe Make that strudel time. making really is in Lacey's family. We just <laughs> didn't know it. Another hidden talent. We love you, Lace. Oh, I love Thanks. you guys. You all be sure to watch Lacey in the premiere of Winter in Vail this Saturday night at 9, 8 central, right here on Hallmark Channel. And we should mention, it's also going to be a Lacey double feature this weekend with her latest crossword mystery, Abracadaver, premiering this Sunday at 8, 7 central over on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.